it feels almost like you're applying a balm, like a gloss of some sort, like a glossier. Hey guys, today is finally the video testing out a full face of Glossier. So I purchased this all myself recently. I have seen so many videos going around of people trying Glossier makeup and I've tried a couple of things that Sam gifted me. After I tried them, I was like, okay, I've got to try everything. So I went on the website and I, I, I ordered a lot and I'm gonna try it all out on camera for you guys today. I have only ever tried the lip gloss from them before, which is right here. And then I did test out the Halo Scope highlighter on my face when I was wearing a bare face day like this. So my skin's just bare right now. I did have a couple little breakouts on my chin, which I think is actually gonna be a good thing because when we test out the skin tint today, we're gonna see if it can cover any of this. I'm feeling like the answer is no. All right, I'm getting my hair out of my face because today we're going in. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy, so Instagram and Twitter. Those are the places you guys want to be following if you want to see updates or if you want to know what I'm up to or bitching on Instagram stories about rude commenters because my last video. And without further ado, let's try Glossier. So because I think most of these products are going to be cream based, I am going to start off with the skin tint. This is in the shade light and it says here on the instruction, shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Blend upwards and outwards for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. Sheer coverage, not really what I go for. All right, let's see. How sheer are we talking? Oh, fuck. Pretty damn sheer. It's a very, very liquidy. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like super, super liquidy. I'm gonna take that on my fingertips and it says smooth it on with your fingers. Um, sheer coverage is correct. Let's try a little dripple dropple up there. I feel like it's accentuating dryness on my face. Okay, I'm gonna be super, super honest with you. I feel as if that did nothing. <laughs> I mean, this is like MAC next to nothing foundation or the Makeup Forever water blend in the way that like it is a hint of pigment in a gallon of water. I mean, maybe it's evening out my skin tone a little bit, but I, I personally do not love a product like this because it is so, I hate to say the word pointless, if you have perfect skin with like beautiful freckles. I could see this being something that you might like. You want something that's gonna be like a light wash of color, but you can see I have these pimples down here. I've now put two layers over it. I have like some redness on my forehead. I just don't have perfect skin whatsoever. If these weren't here, it probably wouldn't be too bad, but you can see all this pigmentation down here, all of this right here. It just definitely kind of feels almost as if you put a greasy layer of oil or something on your skin. It just definitely is not what I would ever gravitate towards. Of course, this is just a first impression of all this glossy stuff. That to me is initially super, super disappointing. I know that you guys might get upset about this, but I have people coming over today and I can't look like this when they come over. Like we're gonna go out, we're gonna be doing things. So I'm going to put a foundation on that I know I like because I'm not going to risk the rest of my face looking like shit because the base looks so bad. So I already know that this skin tint is not for me. It's not, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look like what I was hoping it would. So I feel like the worst thing I could do would be just to accept this as the skin, move along, and then the whole time be like, wow, the cloud paint looks like shit. The halo scope looks like shit because if this is what I'm working with as a base, I'm not gonna like the way anything else looks. So I'm gonna say this is a pass for me. I'm not a sheer coverage person, but I wanted to give it a try because Alana loves it and it looks great on her. But again, she has that model-esque skin that she has like some freckles right here and it like, it's just beautiful no matter what. So I'm going to put a foundation on that I know and love. And I think it'll be a big surprise to a lot of you guys. It is going to be the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Sam gifted me a moisturizing primer 
And I know that wouldn't change the coverage of this at all because I generally don't use primer. Wow, it's so crazy. I just moved, removed all my foundation and that's how much, like that's how little tint is in this. Priming moisturizer and it says here, buildable hydrating cream. After cleansing, massage dollops of the cream onto your face in upward strokes, up and out. Apply more where needed to prime skin for makeup slash or life. Okay, I need prime skin for life, baby. It's just like a moisturizer, I feel. I mean, priming, I don't know, dude. It feels really hydrating, and I do feel like it gave my skin like a good drink of water because I do feel like my face is burning a little bit. I don't know what that's all about. I'm gonna let this sink in for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna toss my Hourglass Vanish Thick Foundation over the top of this. You guys have seen me use it a million times, so I'm just gonna pass over that. And then I will be back, and we are gonna try the rest of the makeup. So I'm gonna go do that, and BRB. All right, and this is the face with the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I don't have any concealer on it. This is the kind of coverage I'm talking about. Bye bye pimples. So this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. And this I've also seen Alana Davison talk about a lot. So it's in a little pot. I got the shade Light and I'm gonna see how this works. I think Glossier, from what I understand, is a brand that is much more light coverage of makeup in general. Like you're looking at getting makeup that is sheer and is very model-esque runway skin where you're not gonna get that full coverage that I think a lot of us are used to. Wow, this does not feel at all like I thought it was going to. It's really beautifully glowy underneath my eyes. I feel like it's adding a really nice dewy coverage, but it feels very greasy. It almost feels like I'm applying an oil. I feel like the coverage is decent on that. It's not like a full coverage concealer in the slightest, but I actually like how, I don't know if you guys can see, but how glossy my under eyes are. It feels almost like you're applying a balm, like a gloss of some sort, like a glossier. I guess that makes a lot of sense, but it's it's a different consistency than I originally thought. It feels like, like a grease paint, like how it'll never dry down and it'll continue to stay movable. I don't know if it creases or anything throughout the day, but it certainly feels like it's going to. I like the finish of it, but you see how greasy my under eyes look? Applying a little bit more to intensify the coverage right here. I mean, I like looking greasy. I've made that very apparent. But I feel like this is another level. I mean, in a lot of ways, <laughs> I like how that looks. It's so glowy. Look at that. That is the concealer for shit's sake. Ooh, I kind of love it but I kind of hate it so much. Like, look at, if you didn't know better, like you would think this bitch has been on the treadmill running for 14 hours, but also she's so healthy and vibrant. I did buy the Glossier Wouter, but I don't know if I wanna use it because I'm liking how this is. What do I do? Okay, I'm just gonna leave this the way this is for now because I'm gonna put my cream products on. It appears I didn't get any sort of contour product. Maybe there wasn't any on the website. I did get a blush. This is the Glossier. I'm gonna quit saying Glossier. You guys can see that it is. It is the Cloud Paint and this is the shade Beam. Oh, oh wow. Okay, again, very, very liquidy product. I pictured, because of the name Cloud Paint, I guess I pictured it a little bit more like a moussey texture. Well, that blended out really easily. I definitely applied far too much. I am literally so shiny. Wow, what a consistency. That is such an interesting formula and it's not creasing like I would picture it to do. What do you guys think? Wow, that is so not what I pictured. Okay, cloud paint, I feel like was fine. So I do not have any contour from Glossier. I think I just didn't realize that maybe they didn't have any or maybe I just forgot to grab some. So I'm just gonna use my Hourglass Loom Sheer Trio. I know how this wears, so it's not going to negatively affect anything, but this is a cream contour product, so. All right, let's try the Haloscope highlighter. And this is a cream highlighter. And it says dew effect highlighter. Now I am already as dewy as can be, 
but I have tried this out once and it does have a little roll up here and the inside of it here is like a little balm and it's definitely a balmy texture. Like when I applied it to my skin, it was actually wet. It didn't just look wet, it like totally was. So as you can see, when I apply it on my finger, it looks wet. And so I'm gonna try apply this with my finger because I don't want it moving around the product underneath. I feel like the product underneath is so glowy that this can't do much, can it? Let me try and... I feel like this, when I used this the other day, I put it just on my bare skin and I noticed a lot more of an effect from it because I could just kind of paint it on my skin. I mean, I definitely see that it's doing something like, let's try it up here on my forehead. So look here. Can you even tell? Let me try this with my beauty blender because with my finger, I feel like I'm not getting great results. It's a very, very natural, glossy looking glow, which makes a lot of sense given the name of the company. It's just like a wet and it's balmy feeling. It doesn't really set down like all of this. It's not setting down at all because it is cream based, but I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I think it's fine, but I feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm being wowed as much as with a product like that. Like, my face feels very tacky. I can't touch it. Like, if I were outside and my hair were flying all over the place in my face because it was windy, it would be getting stuck to my cheeks. It'd be getting stuck to my face. It's almost as if there are there is a layer of, like, kind of a balm or a gloss on my skin, so... I don't know. So this is the boy brow. This is what everybody dies over. I am going to give it a try today and see if I like it as much as everybody else does. I do love the packaging. It's just so minimalistic. This is the shade brown. I need to add like a tail and more definition, but I do feel that that really defined my hairs and added a lot of volume to the hair and tint. I feel like it's very similar to Benefit Gimme Brow. Hmm, not bad at all. I think people hype this shit up so big, like Glossier is so hyped and nothing bad about it at all, I don't think. I guess I was just expecting something else. I don't know. I'm gonna take my brow product. This is the MAC Shape and Shade in the color Fling. I just did a video about this. I'll link it up here of how I use this to get those like hair stroke brows. I feel like Boy Brow gave me good definition of the hairs so I didn't have to like work really hard to get them to look really defined. But yeah, I mean, it, it worked well. I'm just throwing a second coat in so that they're nice and fluffy. I'm trying to go for that like Glossier face today, apparently. I feel like it's definitely setting them in place too, like whereas I feel like the Benefit Gimme Brow doesn't really set my brows in place so much as it does just sort of tint them. This one does feel like the gel is holding in place and making them stay, so um, if you like that like fluffy, unkempt brow, you might really like this look. I'm going to try the Lash Slick Mascara. Yeah, just the minimalistic packaging is really cute to me. It just draws me in. I don't know why. Are you just a mascara? Probably. All right, I am not going to put the Lash Slick on my bottom lashes until I set right under my under eyes because there's a 100% chance it's going to transfer because this is so greasy. So this is the Lash Slick Mascara. Two coats. Okay, so I'm to a point now with this makeup where as much as I love the shine of this, I'm going to set right under my under eye because I feel like it is so absolutely shiny. I mean, I love the way it looks in so many ways, but 
I feel like I am just a grease ball, an absolute grease ball. I've heard nothing but good things about this too. This is the Wouter. I don't know what makes it so different, but I've heard so many people talking about this. I like the packaging. It's got a little netting so that your powder is not too messy. So I'm gonna dip the tip of my beauty blender in that powder. This is the shade Fair. I'm going to take a bit of that. You know, one thing I'm really consistently surprised is with this concealer. It doesn't crease even though it's so greasy. Like I've been sitting here and talking, talking, talking. My eyelid's absolutely hideous, but underneath my eyes, I don't find it creasing. This is the side with the Wouter. This is the side without. I mean, yeah, look at, look. It's like kind of bunching up right there. I just haven't used powder in such a long time because this reason, like I feel like it's just not what it used to be for me. I'm gonna set my eyelids because they keep creasing really badly. And I might set this line in my forehead as well. I don't know what's supposed to be so great about this powder. Like what's so different about it? I think for today's video, I'm gonna leave lashes off. I'm definitely gonna put some on before my friends come, but I just wanna show you guys the Glossier makeup and not just like with lashes. So I'm gonna try the lip product now. I'm gonna put, I'll throw a bottom lash mascara on. Definitely dried down. It didn't stay wet at all. My eyes feel dry where the mascara was on the top. It feels so unfinished without lashes. It's nuts. Once that powder kind of sank into the oils, it's definitely looking better. All right, so I got two Generation G Sheer Matte Lipsticks, and I'm excited to see what they look like. So I got the color Zip, which is this shade here. That's pretty. And then I got this color, which is Cake, which is the one that Alana's been wearing. I'm gonna try Cake first. Sheer is the right term. Well, that color is a non-color. Like it is so sheer that it looks like nothing on me. Okay, let's try zip. Okay. That's not sheer at all. Okay, so this is the full face of Glossier that I have. So I'm gonna show you guys, like look, that is still that concealer. I've set it with a powder now and it's still doing that. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on everything because this is such an interesting group of products that I, it's similar, I guess, to what I thought. It's just the consistency of things were so different than I imagined them to be. So I guess starting off with the skin tint, this is a no-go for me and anybody I feel who has any sort of acne, blemishes, redness, any pigmentation that you wanna cover up, this is not going to cover it. This is very reminiscent of the Makeup Forever Water Blend or the MAC Next to Nothing Foundation. It's honestly just so light coverage. It literally is the, I mean, like, look at this. A normal foundation face, would this would be absolutely covered and this is all the foundation that came off of a full face of skin tint. If you are looking for a good coverage, absolutely skip on this. If you have perfect skin, but you just need a little bit of dewiness maybe, you might like that, but it's a huge pass for me. It's not gonna work for anything that I ever need it for. Um, skipping back then to this, which was the priming moisturizer. Do I feel like this is good? Sure, it definitely felt like it moisturized my skin and it did give me a really, really healthy glow, but I don't know if that is enough reason to buy it on its own. I'm gonna have to keep trying it. I don't know if it breaks me out or anything, but as of right now, I wasn't disappointed in it and it did didn't have a silicone-y texture to it that I absolutely hate. That's one big thing I don't like about a lot of silicone primers.
I just don't like the way they feel on my skin. But that one just felt like a really nice tacky moisturizer. So, so far, so good. Foundation that I'm wearing is the Hourglass one. So again, we can't use that as a marker because that's just, that I had to switch foundations. Um, the Cloud Paint, I feel like it's fine. If you're looking for a liquidy blush, I don't think you'll hate it. It's a nice light wash of color. It's not overly so, it's just like a pretty soft color. It didn't look overkill on my face like some blushes can, but I did overuse it a little bit, but you can see it doesn't look overly used at all. And then of course my bronzer is the Hourglass product, so we can't use that as well. Maybe I missed it. Did, did they have, did they have bronzer? The Halo Scope Highlighter. I feel like the majority of this glow is not coming from the highlighter, but coming from that concealer. It, it's a pretty highlighter. I feel like it's definitely beautiful and it has a really cool glossy finish to it. Like you can see like that's, that's it. And I feel like it definitely looks like that, but I feel like you have to really build it up to get it to that point. And the finish doesn't set down. It stays tacky and dewy. And if you hate the feeling of like stuff on your skin, I definitely can feel these products on my skin. It's not like a bad thing because I don't mind if my face feels kind of greasy and dewy. It feels overly so. This is the most interesting product to me, the Stretch Concealer. I was picturing this to be more like the NARS like concealer in the pot or like other pot concealers I've tried where they're a little more of a dry formula. This is so anti-dry formula. I don't know if you can see it in here. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's a grease formula, 100%. It's not, I wouldn't call it grease, like for crying out loud, but you know when you touch a grease paint on Halloween and they are always greasy, like you can paint a red stripe on your face and then six hours later go like this and it's gonna smear down. Whereas like if you were to use a water activated paint or something that dries down, you could smear it later on your face and it's not gonna budge. That, that That's why I could consider this to be like semi grease paintish because it never is going to dry down. It's always gonna remain very dewy. This is probably, of all the concealers I've ever used in my entire life, even the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is a very, very like greasy, not like greasy is such a bad word, dewy feeling formula that doesn't dry down. This is even more so than that. Like this is even more glowy, more dewy than the IT Cosmetics one. And that one is like, crazy so. I don't know, I like it in a lot of ways and I feel like I'm definitely gonna use it again because on those days where I want to be very healthy looking and glowy, I feel like it adds that. It's just such a bizarre look almost to have really dewy under eyes when we're not used to that. Like I feel like most people really powder their under eyes and they're very, very matte because the more powder you have there, kind of from a distance, like it really takes away texture and it really helps with like lines and aging. But I like the healthiness of it as well. Like, and I've been using that little hourglass touch up wand thing lately because it has a dewiness in my under eyes that's really beautiful. So I don't know, like I don't hate it, but it is so different from what I thought. So a warning to you, if you don't like that really shiny concealer, I would definitely skip out on that. But if you love that, then you might absolutely love this because the coverage on it wasn't bad. I would call it like a highlight or medium coverage. It's not a full coverage concealer by any means. It definitely covered the darkness and really ev evened everything out. So that was a good thing. The boy brow, um, I like it. I feel like my brows look really fluffy and it really defined each individual hair. They also feel like they're pretty set in place without being ultra crunchy. I think people hyped it up, um, making me feel like it was gonna be above and beyond quadrillion times better than Gimme Brow from Benefit. And it's good, but it's not like shockingly different. It's very, very similar in how it performs and the way that the little wand is. So this is Benefit Gimme Brow. This is Glossier Boy Brow. This is the shade four, this is the shade brown. So you can see they're very, very similar. And I feel like they perform pretty similarly to each other, but I still like the way that it worked on my brows and would continue using it for sure. But I don't feel like if you have Gimme Brow, you don't need to go run out and buy the Boy Brow. I mean, it's good, but it's not like it's going to be so above and beyond different that you are gonna notice that much of a difference. Generation G lipsticks. This color is really pretty, but I could dupe this out in a million different things that I have. I like it and it was easy to apply, but I don't need it. Cake was super disappointing to me. I really thought from seeing it on Alana, she would always use the Make It Forever 5C liner and then cake. What I'm now realizing, I think, is that she was using 5C liner all over the lips and then applying a layer of Glossier cake over the top because there's no way her lips look like that with just this. Like, unless 
I'm crazy. I feel like this, like, it was just like a balm. I don't feel like it has hardly any pigment to it whatsoever. Like, this is like 50 swipes over that area. Like, I'll show you one swipe of it. I don't know, it's just so sheer. And I love a good sheer lip product, but I feel like this one is the same formula, but not nearly as sheer. And so, I don't know, I, I don't feel like I need those in my collection and I would probably skip on them, but if there's a color that you absolutely love, you're not gonna hate them or anything. Like, they're not bad. That cake one, I would, I would not repurchase again. But the other one, Zip, is, it's pretty enough. Um, the concealer is so creasing in my eyelids. Ugh, this isn't gonna be long lasting, let me tell you that much, but it would look pretty out in the sunshine. Oh, and Wowder. The Wowder, um, I'm not wowed by it. it. It's just a powder in my opinion, but I, it's, I, again, I don't hate it. None of these products do I hate except for the skin tint. Everything else, I'm just kind of like, is it worth your money? I think that for my taste, personally, I like the full face of Hourglass to get me to this point better. Do I recommend it to you? Anything I would recommend, I think Boy Brow's pretty good if you don't have the Gimme Brow already. If you do, I wouldn't say you need to go run out and purchase it. Oh, the mascara, it's just an average mascara, I'll tell you that much. It's not sh making me like die or anything like that. So my overall opinion is it's all okay. I don't think you'll hate it unless you really hate greasiness, then you'll hate it. <laughs> but uh, it's fine stuff. I mean, it's pretty stuff. I think that a lot of times I've seen so many people raving about Glossier. And for me, it is one of those brands that kind of just popped up out of nowhere, I feel, but is very minimal model-esque features. So if you have perfect skin already and you just want to look like a glowing goddess, you might like all this stuff. If you have a lot of things to cover or you feel like you need heavy coverage or you like things to be a little more dramatic, I don't think Glossier is probably the brand for you. It's not the, it's not really their business model. I think from all the campaign images and everything I've ever seen from them, like it's so apparent that what they like is that it's no makeup makeup. That's really what it comes down to is glossy is very, very no makeup makeup. And I feel like that's what my face looks like right now, but it almost looks like I sprayed myself with a water bottle and laid out in the sun all day and maybe put a little SPF on. All right, and that is this finished video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried anything from the brand before? What did you guys think about it? Anything that you feel like maybe I need to try again? This is of course my first impression. This is not a full review, but this is just my first thoughts on everything. And I feel like it's like a 50-50 for me. Like nothing that I'm overly wowed by, but nothing that I'm horribly disgusted by other than that skin tint, which it's just not for me. It's not that I hate the product. It's just not made for somebody who needs as much coverage as me. So let me know what you guys think about the brand and if you guys have any thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you have not yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff, just Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you do because, you know, there's lots of posts on both. If you want little updates here and there, that's where I am. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. I'm having the worst day ever. I woke up in the worst grumpy mood. I got a bunch of shitty YouTube comments. I'm not getting an email that I've been waiting for for two days. I am just in a pissy ass mood, but I do have two friends coming over right now to hopefully get me out of it, Marie and Kat. I'm gonna get off of this camera and go hang out with my friends and cry into their arms because I'm grumpy. I'm gonna kind of let this sink in for a few and then I'm gonna throw my hourglass vanish stick over on it. All right, and this is the finished fate because I'm not sure if I bought any concealer from, <coughs> I can't remember what I bought. This. How it'll never dry down and it'll continue to contest. I definitely did get a blot. Where the Freaking shit did it go? I brought it up here, didn't I? Yeah, I totally brought it up here. The fuck did it go? <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like the boy brow.
Uh, we have like a bike pump. The of all the the, I think that people hyped it up for me, making me seem it was. So I definitely look. I look stretchy. Uh, stretchy? I meant to say sweaty, but I read the word stretchy on here. The ones I always wear from H and M, I like them stretchy. And I just said I look stretchy. Wow. And now I'm orange. You motherfucker. You bitch of a camera. You right now. Hey camera, you're fucking little bitch. Why am I orange? Why does this happen? I have a custom white balance set. God. I'm really throwing a fit over nothing, but I am grumpy today. I'm a grumpy lady.